So, I thought I'd go through all the hack the site, their JavaScript missions. They're pretty easy, so I figured I'd just go through this really quick and give people a brief tutorial on JavaScript. So, the first one, the idiot test. Now, if there's a JavaScript vulnerability, the first thing you want to do is look at the source. So, in Chrome, control U, we'll bring up the source. Here is the page part we're going to examine. So, to find this part, like check it password, you just do control F to find and type it in. And right here, as you can see, this is the part that is displayed right here. Faith is learning JavaScript, check password. Faith is learning JavaScript, check password. So, pretty much what we want to do is find out what the script is doing. So, it helps to know HTML and JavaScript, but I'm going to kind of give you a brief breakdown. Now, here's the button. When someone clicks that button, it's going to execute the JavaScript command of check document dot get element by pass dot value. What this means is it's going to take the element that's named ID, the element that's named uh, password is the ID, that value. Oh, look at this. Input ID pass. So pretty much what that means is whatever is in this box, when you press this, it's going to send the value that you typed in to the checked JavaScript function. Pretty much a function is this, check, parentheses, the variable, and parentheses. In this case, when it's sending the check, uh, this value to the check function, in this case, this value, is the x. So it's pretty much substitution. This equals x. So pretty much, let's say I type in lol, check password, fail. It's taking lol and it's sending it through here. So check x equals lol. And what this function right here does is if x equals cookies, it's going to say it's win, else it fails. So since lol is not cookies, I obviously lost. So here's what I could do. I want x to be equal cookies, so I just copy cookies. And I paste it here. Check password. Win. And here's one thing you also might have noticed. There's also a question mark, level password equals cookies. This right here is PHP. So I'm going to show you another little trick. Here's the thing. What this is doing, window.location, is it's sending you to your current URL, and it's adding this to that URL. So question mark, level password equals plus the x and obviously x is cookies x equals cookies so if you do this you also win congratulations so that's the first one it's real easy yeah I'll go to the second one this is kind of a joke all you need to do is just ja disable JavaScript so in Chrome you do under the hood uh, content settings JavaScript do not allow JavaScript close close and you go back to that URL and redo it. Click here to win. And that's it. I'm obviously going to re, re enable this because this is JavaScript challenges. Oh, and now we get into some a little more advanced ones math time. In this case, they give you the whole script that they're comparing. So when you enter in something and it's submit, it's, it's worth X. And it's coming through the script. So in this case, the thing that you're doing, x, the length of that should be equal to mu. So in this case, you want to find out what mu equals. So mu equals bar times 2, which is right here, and bar equals foo. And this is a modulus sign, which means, I'll explain in a second. So 7 times 6 is 42, 42 plus 5 is 47. Now what modulus means is you divide this number. That's foo, that's foo. 47, it means 47 divided by 8 and the remainder of that number. So in this case, I'm just going to use Google because I'm really lazy. And we have 7. So right here we have 7 times 2 equals 14. So if x dot length equals 14, alert win, else fail. So pretty much what that means is the, the number of characters in X needs to be 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Check bastard. And yeah, I've obviously done it. So I win. Next one. Once again, 
Control U for source. It's going to pass the value to the check function. So here's the value x. Now in JavaScript, if you have two equal signs, that's a comparison. If you have one equal sign, it's equal. So if you do a equals two, that means a is equal to two. If you do a equals equals two, which what that means is it's going to return a one or a zero if that statement's true or false. A one if it's true, a zero if it's false. In this case, this right here is a string because it's in these little quotes. So it's saying, is this equal to this? That's not true, so it's returning zero. Where this really the zero is not doing anything. So what this really means is if x is the same thing as um, two equal signs just means nothing. Because whatever's in the equal signs is what the worth is, that's so nothing. Plus rar rar plus nothing. And rar rar is a variable. The variable is right here. So if this pretty much means if x equals mu. I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do this. So obviously that that's right. Another trick you can do. I'm gonna go back to this mission. Another thing you can do that makes everything so much easier is in HTML is in uh, Chrome. There's something called a JavaScript console. So you just click this, Tools, JavaScript console, and so you go. Oh look. Well, if X equals this, it's gonna work. So I can just copy this entire thing right here, paste into here, and it's gonna execute that command on the on the page. So boom, look at that. Moo. Copy, paste. It works. Here's a fourth thing you can do. Now this is called JavaScript injection. And this is how people some people can you can exploit some pages doing this. What we're doing right here is if x equals this, it's gonna work. Now you can also change this. So let's say rar rar. Let's say I want to say I want to change the value of r r r. So whatever I put in is going to work. So I can do r r equals, let's say, um, one. Now r r equals one. So all I need to do is type in one, check pass, and it works. Now if I were to try to do that originally, it would not work. See? And this is three characters. So you know I typed in one. That's that one. Here's another one. Control U. Check pass. Once again, it's saying the uh, saying the value into here. Now, here's an interesting over here. Unescape. Pretty much, what this means it converts random string data into random. Um, these each represent a different character. But guess what we can do? It's comparing X to Mu. So what can we do? We just take Mu. Copy this, run the JavaScript console, and do moo. I love moo. And you can just copy this and paste this. There you go. So it, as you can see, that kind of makes everything really, really easy. Um, this is actually pretty good right here. So what this is doing, JavaScript, it's going to be sending whatever you type in to the function check pass. Now here's a trick you can do is you can just copy this and you can find it. Oh look, the function check pass is nowhere in here. You can see it right here, but you can't see function check pass because this is function check pass w and this is function check, neither of which are the same as function check pass. So we can tell they're trying to trick you. Um, if people include extra scripts in JavaScript, you're always going to see script type blah 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 src. This means the location of the script is right here. So if you click this, oh, what's this? Check pass. So it's saying if pass equals rar plus this, it's going to say, okay, you won. Now, once again, you can do the uh, console trick, or you can just do this value rar rar is mu 
plus this stuff, whatever's in between. If there's nothing in between, then it's just nothing, but obviously there's a space there. So it's it's move space something plus move in movies pones. So it's moo space pones. Go back here, check pass. Boom, done. And here we have the final one. This is a technique a lot of um, people do JavaScript malware do. They'll create like a browser exploit using JavaScript and they'll they'll um, hide it through obfuscation. I don't know how to pronounce it, whatever. And it will make site it'll make it difficult for certain companies to detect it, like Google safe browsing. It'll get a little harder for them to detect it. So I'm gonna view the source. And here you can see right here, you can't read this at all. It's really annoying. So, what you could do for this one, I'm going to take oh, notepad and I'm going to do this. For JavaScript, you find these, these semicolons, and that's the end of a line. So, let's see if there's any more. One, there's that one, and there's this one. That's it. So, as you can see, this variable equals this. So, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do this. There's quicker ways to do this, but I just want to do it the simplest way. Uh, I want to break it down piece by piece just so you can kind of understand what this code means. And then you have document this, which means document write. Another way to do this is this is the variable right here, the variable, and this is the first character. So zero. This means one. So it means this one, and in in um arrays, this right here is array. This is the zeroth element. This is the first element. So this obviously means right. And you can see right here a string. which means this. Okay, document.write just means that page is going to display it. So I'm going to delete that. And here's the stuff that the page is going to display. So on click it's going to do if if the document dot password equals the value this then it's going to alert you win and that is it boom boom you win and that right there is all of the javascript challenges so tell me what you think hopefully you learned some something i would suggest the best thing for you to do is to go to, uh, you can go to hack this site. There's a bunch of little cool hacking little challenges which will teach you stuff about JavaScript, such a guy. But the main thing, I suggest you all learn JavaScript and HTML before doing any um, pen testing, web testing, security, stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. It's really simple. The JavaScript ones, some of these are a little more complex. Post if you'd like me to do any more of these uh, hacking challenges. And thanks for watching.